Good morning, lovely people. Let's feed the trout. Okay, today I would like to talk about uh, the impact that we can have when we work in aquaponics on our environment. Yesterday I had a, a chat, uh, actually I was interviewed by a Brazilian aquaponics keeper for uh, an aquaponics channel in Brazil. Uh, the, the guy is called Leandro, very nice guy, actually if you talk uh, Portuguese, you are welcome to, to go and follow his channel. I think the, the channel is MS Aquaponia. Anyway, during the conversation, uh, we talked about the different spaces that we were growing. And he was, he asked me if I was growing tilapia. As you know, I grow trout mainly. Trout, silver perch. I used to grow tandem catfish, yabbies, this type of things. But tilapia is not adapted for the south of uh, Australia because it's a tropical fish. But apart from that, it's also, I, I told them that uh, tilapia was considered as a pest in Australia. And they were completely shocked. Because for them, that's one of the best fish to grow in aquaponics. Which is true, it's a very interesting fish to grow. Because it's, uh, it's a fish that is uh, omnivorous, it can eat vegetables. So it makes it very efficient from an aquaponics perspective because it's quite cheap to grow, cheap to feed, and uh, the protein is quite good. Anyway, the point is that they couldn't understand why tilapia was considered as a pest in, uh, in Australia. And I explained them the reason why, it's because such as a koi carp, we can't keep them here because Australia is an island, so it's quite separate from the rest of the world and we got some unique ecosystems. And if we start to release, if we start to have some fish that are able to grow very fast, uh, released into the environment, they may, they may grow very fast and they may take the place in the ecosystem of all the spaces. So basically, they may, they may, they may kill all the spaces, not directly by killing the other spaces, but taking the, the space in the environment because they are more competitive. So that's the reason why tilapia is not allowed uh, in Australia. And I totally understand this point from the government perspective. However, uh, what I would like to stress in today's video is I often talk about the impact that we have on the environment when we work, when we grow food in aquaponics. We have to be careful uh, not to release some waste into the environment and I always say that aquaponics is a very good way to grow food because we use a very low quantity of resources and we produce a significant quantity of food without releasing any pollution in the environment, you know, because everything is recycled. However, there is something that I may not have emphasized enough on this channel. I have talked about it already several times, but maybe I thought I would make a video about this point because for me it's, it's very important. The fact that whatever we are growing in aquaponics, sometimes I know people change their mind and they grow one species of fish and after a while they want to change. And for some reason, sometimes they don't want to harvest the fish, they don't want to eat the fish. And um, they, they take the decision sometimes to release the fish in a lake or in a river. And as you can imagine, that's a terrible, a terrible decision. If you like your fish, if you love your fish, um, I would recommend to give them to someone else. If you don't want to eat them, if you don't want to consume them. Because a lot of people are always looking for new fish. So if you put them on, uh, online, you know in Australia we have this uh, application called Gumtree. On Gumtree, you can post fish and you will find people who are looking for fish to put in aquarium, to put in a pond. But it's, if you do that, that's good because uh, you're gonna, basically someone is gonna be happy to take your fish. What you don't wanna do, however, is to think that the fish will be good in, in nature and, and release it in nature. Because again, 
sometimes you think you do a good thing, you release a fish and you give him freedom. But the reality is that it may, it may not be good for the ecosystem. So, for instance, here I have trout. I wouldn't like to release those trout in the environment, even if theoretically they are not able to, to breed by themselves. I wouldn't I wouldn't release them in the environment. I wouldn't release anything that I have in the aquaponic system into the, into the natural environment. You know, it's always a risk when you take something from one ecosystem to another. You don't know what is going to happen. You don't know also what type of disease the fish you have have. Sometimes you have fish, they look very good, but they may have disease that have not been uh, declared. You know, they, they are not apparent. And they may not affect your fish. However, your fish can transmit the disease to someone else. Well, <laughs> we know all the stuff with the virus now, but you know, it's, uh, it's really the case with a uh, with lot of animals. So it's always risky to transfer animals from one place to another. But when it's to put them in your, back, in, your, in, your, uh, in your backyard, to put them in your pond, that's fine. You take the risk. Every time you buy new fish, you take the risk to buy a disease with a fish. When I'm talking about fish, I'm talking also about anything that you put into the water. It can be yabbies, it can be snails, it can be mussels. Whatever you do, there is always a risk. But uh, we need to understand that uh, if we are happy to take the risk for our backyard, it's always a very small risk. We shouldn't take a risk for the environment. Because when you raise a fish into the environment, you have no idea of the consequences that going to create. So please don't do that. <laughs> That's a very simple thing. When you have fish, the idea is you have fish and first you want to give them a good environment where you live. So you see the fish I have here, they are in a very good environment. They have a lot of places to hide. They are, there is depth. There is everything for the fish to be happy where they are. That's the thing number one. When you get a fish, make sure you have a good environment for them. But secondly, if you don't want the fish anymore, either you have as a fish, either you gave them to someone else, but you never release the fish into the environment. You never release anything from the aquaponic system into the environment, even the plants. The plants, if you don't want plants anymore, either you give them to someone else, either you, you burn them, you put them in the bin, whatever. But you don't put the plants back into the environment because with the aquatic plants, you may have disease, you may have uh, fish, eggs, whatever, whatever it is. You don't want to have any contamination. The environment is very fragile. We are not, we are not fully aware of this. I mean, a lot of people are not fully aware of this. They think, they think it's all, uh, all the environment is linked everywhere. And yes, there are some bridges. For instance, if you leave a pond without fish, after decades and decades, you will, you will find fish appearing because you got birds that are coming and they may, they may have uh, eggs on their legs, they may have, uh, they may have uh, fish that they release for some reason. So the fish are able to, to come from one place to another, so they, there is transmission. But this is nat nature and takes ages to happen. But you don't want to take one fish from one one place and transmit it to another place. It's a very bad idea. So for all the beginners, and not only the beginners, for everyone, just when you get a fish, keep it, harvest it, or sell it, give it to your friends, put it online, whatever you want, but never release it into the environment. I hope you get the message, very simple, uh, but it's very important. If you want to learn more about aquaponics, I. I uh, welcome you to join the movement. There is uh, the aquaponics revolution movement where I give you some uh, advice, some tips to learn how to grow fish in your backyard. And if you want to join the movement, there is a link into the description of the video. And I will be very happy to welcome you in the movement as long as you understand that we are here to grow food respectfully in the environment and uh, we do everything we can to minimize our impact on the environment. So I leave it as is. Um, I wish you a lovely day and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.